Alex did some digging. What is there it? There was one passenger who had a seat booked on the Venture who mysteriously didn't show up last minute. Lena Luther. And who are you exactly? Um, um, I'm Cara Danvers. I'm not with the Daily Planet. I'm with Cat Magazine. You wouldn't be asking me if my last name was Smith. No, but it's not. It's Luther. It wasn't always. I was adopted when I was four. The person who made me feel most welcome in the family was Lex. He made me proud to be a Luther. When Superman put Lex in jail, I vowed to take back my family's company, to rename it Elcor, make it a force for good. I'm just a woman trying to make a name for herself outside of her family. And you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm not a reporter or anything, but I kind of believed her. Give me a chance, Mr. Kent. I'm here for a fresh start. Let me have one. Someone's trying to kill you. By renaming my company Alcor, we will usher in a new age of cooperation and community. Together, we will try a brighter future. Thank you, Mr. Kent. This is exactly the kind of press my company needs after yesterday's attack. Well, that's not exactly why I wrote it. I wrote it because it's the truth. What about you, Miss Danvers? I didn't see your name on the byline. Uh, well, like I said, I'm not a reporter. You could have fooled me. I made my decision. I want to be a reporter. I hope this isn't the last time we talk. I hope not either. Miss Luther. Lena, please. It's good to see you again, Miss Danvers. Well, if I'm calling you Lena, Cara it is. I swear I just blinked and she got right past me. Lena, I just need to talk to you. Jess, will you make a note downstairs that Cara Danvers is to be shown in right away whenever possible? Well, if it isn't National City's newest hotshot reporter, I was just reading your article. That's actually why I'm here. I have to say thank you for helping me find that fight club. I need to find her. Well, that's the trick, isn't it? A little fight club, stay mobile. But do you know where she's holding the next fight? I wouldn't ask if I had any other option. You've been in the city a month, and you've already saved my job an embarrassing amount of times. Well, I am sure you will return the favor when the time comes. I owe you big time. I know you'll be there for me when the time comes. I also wanted to give you this. Someone hacked into the emails at Elcorp and sent them to Catco anonymously. I just remember you saying you wanted to make a name for yourself outside of your family, and. I would hate for some jerk to ruin that. Lena? Cara! Hi. <laughs> Hi, it's, it's really good to see you. We have this game night thing, and my sister and I dominate, and we are in desperate need of a worthy adversary. I'm sorry, Cara. When I said I wanted us to have a positive relationship, it was because I thought we could help each other. But let me be clear, I meant a business relationship. Look, I heard you when you said you didn't want to connect with anyone, but I've been the new girl in town. And I put my guards up too, but I was miserable. I didn't come here to make friends, so by all means, publish the emails. I would never do that, Lena. But if you change your mind, the invite always stands. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone. Kara, don't be ridiculous. You can't eat all those apps on your own. Why don't you join me? Okay, but I'm warning you, people have been underestimating how much I can eat for years. Oh, game on. Lena! <laughs> Surprise visit to Kako? No, I'm, I'm here to see you, actually. You are? Elcorp is hosting a party this weekend. It would mean a lot to me if you were there. Of course I'll come. I'm honored. Now it's my turn to ask for a favor. Anything. Shoot. I need to get in touch with Supergirl. Car Danvers told me you were going on with the fundraiser. You can't. It's definitely going to be a target for this gang. Well, that's why I need you there to protect it. <laughs> Supergirl. I'm glad you could make it. I still think this might be a bad idea. Well, let him wait and see how the evening pans out. You like to take risks, don't you? No, you can't live in fear. You more than anyone must understand that. Time and again, you risk everything to see justice done. It's so hard to believe that I feel the same way. Or are you one of those people that thinks there's no such thing as a good Luther? I believe everyone should be judged on their own merits. And judge me on mine. Hey, this party must happen, and I am asking you for your help. I guess I have no choice. Who would have believed it? Luther and a super working together. What about Lena Luther? What about her? Lena's mother took the Kryptonian virus and synthesized it on Earth. If Lena is working with her, Lena was shocked to see Henshaw. He would have killed her, too. And the Luthers are pretty good actors, or, well, sociopaths. Either way, they, they know how to fool people. No, no. I looked into Lena's eyes. She doesn't know anything about Cadmus and her mother. I know it. I need help finding your mother. My mother. Your mother is behind Cadmus. She's their leader. 
She kidnapped me, and now she possesses a virus that she could wipe out the entire alien population in National City. My mother's no saint, but you come in here and accuse her of being the devil incarnate? How long before you come after me? You're in charge of Cadmus. Is this the part where you lecture me? I know what it's like to be disillusioned by our parents, but I'm a pretty good judge of character, and you are not like your mother. Ask me for my help, and I'll get it to you. It's that easy? She is cold and dangerous, and you are too good and too smart to follow in her path. Prove you're with me. Unleash Medusa and end Earth's alien menace once and for all. Be your own hero. Don't do it, Lena. Why not? You switched out the isotope. You made the virus inert. I did. And I called the police. Because there was only one visitor to the jail last night. You know I was at the jail to see my mother last night. You're the one that told me to go. Her daughter, Lena. But you may have also visited Metallo. You think that's something I would do? We're actually here on official business. Cara, I think it would be better if you waited outside while I talked with Miss Luther. Yeah, I want her to stay. Of course I'm putting her on the cover. She's a Luther. But she didn't do it. The police were sent some surveillance footage I wanted to ask you about. That's that's not me, okay? I, I don't know where you got that, but it, but it's not me. Have you seen the video? Are you letting a budding friendship corrupt your recording? You're under arrest for aiding and abetting a felon, accessory after the fact, conspiracy. Slow down, just let her explain. Stay out of it. The only thing Lena has done is help. She called the police on her own mother over the Medusa virus. That's exactly my point. If she can betray her own mother, what is to stop her from pulling a long con on you? We have to start treating Lena Luther like a hostage. Okay, I know she's your friend, Carl, but Lena's bad news. Why? Because she's a Luther? Stop the man. I'm going back. To what? You have no one on your side. If you watch that video, I know you'll find something. I did. It's it's clean. Then find something to prove her innocent. The person you want to help is yourself. I'll take my chances on my own. Well, she's my friend, and I believe in her. Put your hand on the pad, and we can all start getting along again. No. You know, it's not Lex. But they grew up in the same house, Carl. I don't understand why you keep defending her. No one's ever stood up for me like that. Now you have someone that will stand up for you always. Supergirl, I can't believe you're here. Cara Danvers believes in me. So my office is, is overflowing with flowers. Really? Yeah. Well, Supergirl who saves me, but Cara Danvers, you are my hero. I always have your back. You're my favorite. Uh, this is Cara Danvers. She is one of the best reporters in National City. <laughs> Lost does strange things to my family, and I have lost a lot of people. Well, you're not gonna lose me. You don't have to be afraid. And I'm not going anywhere. I promise. I will always be your friend. And I will always protect you. Edge has been quietly buying up shares until today when he put a tender offer to the majority shareholders. You want me to stay away from Kekko? Oh, come on, Morgan. Kekko isn't good business for you, and you know it. I spoke to Edge. Please tell me you convinced him not to buy Kekko. No. I bought it. And I was hoping maybe you could break the story. I actually quit. Well then, unquit. I can't do this without you. I literally know nothing about running a media I'm empire. Not, neither do I. I mean, I trust you. How often do you get to work with your best friend? Welcome to Cat Cup. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. It's a Danvers family tradition. First day of school, you get a, a planner. Well, it's lovely. Cara, so, you, so you, you knew that Miss Luther would be here today? She, she texted me this morning. This is new for me, too. Working with friends? No, having friends. Oh. Luthers don't have friends. We have minions. <laughs> you know, so I, I think there's going to be a, a learning curve for both jobs. No, no, Lena. Today you were a really good friend and a great boss. I'd really like to give you a hug, but I'm afraid I'll show favoritism. Uh, screw that. Come here. <laughs> Bring it in. Lena Luther built the bomb that poisoned these boys. You wanted to be a hero so bad, you didn't care who you heard. Even if all of this were true, Supergirl would be just as much to blame. She made the call to use that device. You are one of the strongest women I know. Why aren't you fighting? Because I did it. You know, all I ever wanted to be was good. And then finally I did just, just one thing, one thing that was good, and how I the monster that poisons children. What are you saying? You still think that Lena's responsible for what's happening? I'm not saying that she did this. I'm just saying that maybe this happened because of what she did. Semantics. I know you believe that everything is good and kind and that 
definitely is one of the things I love about you. In the real world, my last name is Bin Laden, and everything I do hurts. I don't know, it's it's in my DNA, okay? So please, just, just, just stop believing me, okay? I am not worth it. I, I probably also should apologize to you. I'm, I'm lucky you're still speaking to me. Hey, when you're family, you can say what you need to say, and the people that love you still will love you. This year's been really tough for me, but I did get two really great things out of it. And I, I couldn't have gotten through what I've been through this year without you. I just tried to poison her. It was in her coffee. You need to slow down her circulation in order for this to work. How, how do you slow it down? Induce hypothermia? I can do it. Let me do it. You saved her. My mother's back. And as darkly twisted as Lillian is, she made me realize two things about myself. I'm smart. And you needed your mother to remind you of that, Lena? Come on, you're a chess prodigy. I've seen your trophies. Are you gonna try to kill me in public? <laughs> I'm actually here to save you. What's number two? I very well may be a killer. You're not a killer. <laughs> no, not as yet, but I do have the emotional range of Medea. <laughs> You want to know why I'm not a killer? Friends. And those are friends are for. We get each other through your dark times. I've had your back so many times. When the rest of the world was ready to pass you off as the new Lex Luthor. My friend came to me. He was alone and afraid. I had to do something. And what exactly have you been doing with Sam? I came to the conclusion that Sam and Rain were one and the same. How did you keep her contained? I used kryptonite. Do you have any more kryptonite? Yeah, it's all gone. Lena has kryptonite. Lena is not Lex. It, it took me a long time to figure that out, but you're the one who made me see that. I want to believe her, but she lied about Sam. Sorry, right, you're asking me to betray somebody that I really care about. I really care about her too. You don't like secrets? Nope, I don't. Good. What's your real name? It's not a great question for a loser to ask someone in my family. You have secrets. I can get on board with that. I have secrets too. Let her go! Take me! Take me instead, please! No! That wasn't Lex's kryptonite. I figured out how to make it. You were gonna to have to tell Supergirl that you know how to make kryptonite. You know what happened when I told Supergirl I had kryptonite. Years of goodwill vanished in an instant. I became the enemy. But James Olsen convinced me that we were on the same side. He thought you'd actually be grateful. You think I should be grateful that you learned how to make the one substance on this planet that can kill me? Thousands of things can kill me, Supergirl. And she will do everything in her power to stop me from making it, even if I'm using it for good. You are going to turn over the formula to Alex. You are going to take any Kryptonian elements from your lab and bring them to the DEO, and you are never going to make kryptonite ever again. I owe you an apology for being so hard on you. You just have to understand when it's kryptonite. His person. You know, even if I did trust you, even if we were on the same side, this substance is so lethal to me that I can't risk encountering it by mistake. Trust is hard for me too, Supergirl. But since we seem to need each other, we're just gonna have to figure it out. I do trust you, Lena. Good. Why did you tell her that Supergirl has Guardian to go into her lab to find Kryptonite? Now she has a problem with me. She does not have a problem with you. She, she couldn't wait to see you this morning. She was talking about She couldn't wait to see Kara, not Supergirl. She has a problem with, with Supergirl. Supergirl went behind my back and used my personal relationships against me. That's like something my mother would do. She crossed a line and I can never trust her again. Supergirl can't tell her that she can actually trust me because I'm her best friend, Kara, but Kara can't tell her why Supergirl took it so personally that she was using kryptonite behind her back because Lena doesn't actually know that I'm Supergirl. I don't, I don't like this tension between us, Lena, and I know it's my fault. I, look, I feel terrible about it. I made a huge mistake and I'm sorry. For the past two years, I, I've had to be dishonest with her while she's been opening up to me. I just don't want one mistake to ruin our friendship, that's all. It won't. We don't have a friendship, Supergirl. If Lena ever found out that I was Supergirl, she would be devastated, and she would lump me in with every other person in her life that's betrayed her. 
I, I, I just hope um, when we solve this, we can work to rebuild our trust. Why is it so important to you that we're friends? I have friends, Supergirl. Friends that don't scheme behind my back or lie. Given my family history, they know how painful that would be. Just like her, move like her, think like her. Lena Luther. Lena doesn't realize how much potential she has. I hope now at least the world will. Kara, what are you doing here? I thought you were on vacation. I, uh, I had to help Alex with something. A stroke, huh? You wanted to see me in person that bad. What can I say, sis? Lex Luther, he's free. That's her now. Yes. You kept this? I gave your mother what I had, but I made more. You look past all of the good we've done and see red whenever you feel vulnerable. I feel the weight of the world on my shoulders. If my enemies are strengthened, if I'm weakened in the slightest bit, I could lose, and I just can't. I'm sorry, Nina. Thank you. I appreciate that. People actually believe that I attacked the White House. I really believe that the three of us working together is our best chance of vindicating you and catching you. People who used to admire me now think I'm an American traitor, and the people that hate me are reveling in my downfall. Okay, this is not your downfall, Supergirl. It's a glitch. You didn't do it. We both know Lex is behind this, and soon everyone else will too. You haven't been around. Supergirl's been there for me. person who judges me on the very premise of my last name, but my best friend hasn't. You've been a terrible friend, Lena. You've been locked step ever since Lex escaped. That was Supergirl. Lena, I'm... I'm sorry, I was... I was trying to catch Lex for you. That's why I'm doing this. Of course I care about how you feel. You just care about me a little less than you do as a source for your story. And I was so focused on my article, I forgot what really matters. He contacted me four months ago. He knew I had the harrow now. He had cancer and he was afraid to die. And in my heart, I knew he was manipulating me, but I believed him and I helped him and he betrayed me. I should have told you about Lex from the beginning. Trust is still a learned skill for me. It doesn't come naturally. And I was weak and I will never forgive myself for that. You are not weak, no matter what. We are always on the same side. You are a brilliant, kind-hearted, beautiful soul. I let her in, and she lied to me every day, to my face, about who she was. And that's what hurts. Well, what stopped you from telling Lena? So the past few months, she's been betrayed by Lex, by Eve. So if she found out after all this time, I was lying? I couldn't bear to put her through that again. But when this is all over and Lex is behind bars, I am going to tell her the truth. Even if she hates me. I know there is no way I could ever trust anyone ever again if it wasn't for your friendship and your integrity. It means the world to me, Kara. But when I'm gone, who will be left to be proud of you? I'm always going to be here for you. Are your friends? The joke's on you. It's always been on you. But, uh, you're with me, right? Always. Kara Danvers is... Supergirl. I have to tell her the truth. I can't keep it from her anymore. I'm not a villain. I don't want to kill Supergirl. I just want her to experience the same hurt she inflicted on me. You're terrible. You're not terrible. You're just scared. I am so scared. I am so scared that she's never gonna forgive me, Alex. I sold Catco to Andrea. You sold Catco without telling any of us? To be honest, Carl, I only bought the company because I knew how much it meant to you. When it comes to telling her the truth, I'm just frozen. 
Why can't I do it? It was supposed to be a surprise, but I'm the one who's going to introduce you. Well, I couldn't miss an opportunity to tell the world how wonderful you are. No, 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 no. Lena, I can't let you do this. I don't deserve it. Me more than anyone knows how much you do deserve it. I saw how you risked your life to expose Lex's crimes. I'm Supergirl. I've always been Supergirl. The world is full of liars. People who hide things from us. People who manipulate and control us. But in my life, there was someone who always reminded me that truth was the better way. And she is the person we are here tonight to celebrate. I should have told you so long ago. I know that. I just kept making excuses because you've been hurt so many times. And, and then one day you were so angry with me, with Supergirl, but you still loved Kara. And I just kept thinking, if I could be Kara, just Kara, then I could keep you as a friend. I was selfish and scared, and I didn't want to lose you. The truth isn't easy. And certainly not for the faint of heart. Because she's so good at it, she makes it look easy. We sometimes forget that she's just like us. And just like us, Clara can sometimes slip. But she always gets back up and pulls through in the end. Thank you for telling me the truth. Clara, things can't be like they were before. Do you understand? There could be no more secrets between us. I have to be in on everything. You will be. And if you ever need me, all you have to do is call. I don't think I realized how burdened I was by lying to her. And now that she knows I'm Supergirl and she's forgiven me, I, I feel a thousand pounds lighter. Like I can do anything. Did you forgive Cara Danvers? She betrayed me. It broke my heart. I could never forgive her. From Café Roussette on the Champs Elysees. I know they're your favorite. And the cappuccinos. Did you really go to Pave in the lab? It didn't take me that long. <laughs> you know, I have really been missing out on the perks of having Supergirl as a best friend. <laughs> I just want things to be great between us. I, I want this lunch to be perfect. Yes, and it will. Look, Lena wants your relationship back on track too. Me, how are you? To tell you the truth, I haven't had the easiest time of it since Lex. I've been having nightmares. I figured out a way to heal myself. Entails breaking into a secure army facility and stealing Lex Luthor's journals. Kara, are you out of your mind? I just blurted it out. I wasn't thinking. But you should have seen how much pain she was in. And she's so traumatized by Lex's death. And the journals are the only way she can find closure. I hope they have. They already have. I hope we haven't crossed any boundaries. No. For a friend like you, there are no boundaries. Do you remember when you finally told me you were super cool? You were weeping. Big crocodile tears. Well, I wept real tears. Bitter tears for you, weeks. How long had you known? I found out the day I killed my brother. She knew what? My identity. She's known for months. When you chipped away at my armor with your warmth and your earnestness, and you convinced me to trust in people, in friendship again, and against my better judgment, I did. I confided in you that everyone in my past had betrayed me. No matter how much it hurt, to have someone you love lie to you and betray you, I spelled it out to you. Again, essentially begging you not to violate my trust, begging you not to prove that once again that I was a fool. You reassured me ad nauseum that you would never lie to me, that you never hurt me. Rina, don't, don't do this. Shut it down. It's not responding. Shut it down now. I'm not gonna give up on you. But all the while, there wasn't a single honest moment in our friendship. No, no, that is not true. No, I killed my brother for you. Bro. She saved me from Ramakan in the fortress, and even at Lex's bunker. The cannons were loaded with kryptonite, but she didn't use them. I made a big mistake. I made the biggest mistake of my life, but please, Lena, please don't leave the fortress with Marriott. Please don't let my mistake push you to do something terrible. You are a good person. No, no, you don't ever get to tell me who or what I am again. I can still fix this. I can get through to her if I could just talk to her. Are you gonna try to kill me? I'm not a villain. You shouldn't have treated me like one. She's hurting. All she's experienced are people hurting each other the same way I did. Clearly, she thinks she's doing good. You spent years trying to be open and trusting, even when everyone expected you to be like your family, even when everyone in your life let you down. I was weak and lied to you, knowing that all you ever asked for was the truth. You were always better. Lex took advantage of my weakness and he used it to manipulate you. He wanted my mistakes to change you. I can still save her. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm the one who hurt her, so I'm going to fix this. 
He wanted you to become him. But you are nothing like him. Nothing. Don't let my mistakes turn you into something you're not. Lena is leading her own double life. You are making her sound like a Luther. Maybe that's because she is one. This isn't just two friends that are in a fight. This is not her. This is not our Lena. The DEO, CACO, all of National City is on this earth. I have to talk to Lena. Look, on this earth, Lena and Supergirl are partners. In this new world, we work side by side at Luther Corp and the DEO. Plus, she doesn't hate you, so, so maybe Lena not having her memories is a good thing. I owe it to her to tell the truth. I made that mistake once. I'm not going to do it again. So there's something I, I have to tell you. I already know. What did you think would happen when you came here? That you'd tell me everything in a fit of selflessness, even if it meant that I knew how you betrayed me? And then I'd just keel over and forgive you. You know, I hurt you. I, I know I hurt you. And I'm never, ever going to do it again. And I know how much good you want to do in the world. Just think of what we could do together to help people. Lex gave me the same pitch. He asked you to help him. Just be careful. If I had done things differently, maybe things would have turned out differently. I could send you back in time. If I told Lena that I was Supergirl before Lex, maybe she would have reacted differently. I mean, isn't that worth a try? Changing history to save a friendship? Right there? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes. I'm not who you think I am. I'm Supergirl. I never meant to deceive you. I just didn't know how to tell you. And if the real car thought I was a villain, then maybe that's all I really am. Lena, no. How could you ever think that? Lena saved me the first time. She might hate me, but she'll save me again. She wants to, but she'll never make it in time. Do you have any more kryptonite? This is it. Uh -huh. This is the moment that Lena started to distrust Supergirl. This is when I have to tell her, so... Okay. You once told me Kara Danvers was your hero. I never told you that. I told... It's me, Lena. I've always been Kara. Kara, how could you? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you sooner. Three weeks ago, I found out that Sam, one of my closest friends, was a homicidal Kryptonian. I risked my life day after day for weeks because I believed that I was the only one who could be trusted to protect her, to save her. I could have used your help. I would have used your help. If you'd bothered to tell me the truth before now, if you trusted me, then I wouldn't have had to go through that danger alone. I'm so sorry. We have to go back to the very beginning. This was right before Lena and I really became friends. See, she's about to say, I didn't come here to make friends. She didn't want to let anyone in. She did. I made the mistake of not letting her in, too. Cara Danvers is a supergirl. Yeah. Imagine what we could do together. A Luther and a super working together as a team. If we were partners, we could change the world. Just maybe this... This is the timeline to stick with. Let's... Maybe we should skip ahead to the ending? It doesn't matter when I tell Lena the truth. It always makes things worse. I think Lena would be better off if she and I were never friends. Is that the world you want to see? No. It's me. It's Kara. Who's Kara? Just a friend. You don't know me. Not really. Where were you when my brother blew my helicopter out of the sky? When my mother dragged my broken body to a laboratory? Where were you when this world was ripped apart by the seams? Where were you? I'm sorry I wasn't there when it mattered. So am I. It doesn't matter when I tell Lena the truth. There will always be consequences. You're here to tell me once again that I should forgive you. Not this time. I recognize I made a mistake in hiding my identity from you for so long, but the past is the past, and I can't change it. Forgive me or not, that's your choice. I'm done blaming myself for your bad decisions. Then why are you here? To tell you that from now on, you're accountable for your own actions. If you decide to forgive me, I will be there for you. But if you continue to work with Lex, I will do everything in my power to stop you. I heard about Jeremiah. I came to offer up sympathies. She apologized to her. Be clear with your pronouns, dear. Lena apologized to Kara, to Supergirl, for the death of Jeremiah. My mother died when I was very young. I know that pales in comparison to the losses that you've suffered, but I'm sorry. Thank you for saying that. That means a lot coming from you. The assassination of Jeremiah Danvers was the perfect chess move, but for the fact that it maddeningly drove Lena back to Supergirl. This helped me a lot with memories of my mother and other family difficulties. <laughs> Help with Luther family difficulties. I'm sure it'll help me a lot. You know what? This book that Lena gave me actually has strikingly similar advice. Well, I still can't believe the fact that she gave you that after everything that happened. Well, maybe she's coming around, seeing the light about Lex. Yesterday, I thought I had an honest conversation with Supergirl, and today I find out that she's using your hand to interrupt my experiments. The very device she told me was too dangerous for anyone to use. I could always just go to the fortress if you told me where it was and turn off Mary before she interferes again. If she's using Myriad, I want to see it for myself. 
You are using Myriad. Lena, what are you doing here? Jeez, what are you doing here, Supergirl? I thought it was forbidden to use Myriad, but forbidden for anyone but you. There are people missing, dozens of them, stuck in Obsidian's VR. I have to find them. What I'd really like to know is why Lena was at the Fortress at the exact same time. Myriad is a trigger for Lena, so maybe her arrival is a coincidence. No, where there is smoke, there's a Luther. You do what you want. What I'm doing is finding people your brother disappeared. Any proof that it was Lex? No, I didn't think so. You just returned to your default position of blaming a Luther. Oh, you did tell me to treat me like a villain. If you acted like one, yeah, I did say that. Right now, we have no reason to believe that Lena is involved with Leviathan. We have no reason to believe she isn't. Do you think that I was sincere with you yesterday? And I guess you're used to being two-faced. She was so kind after Jeremiah died. And then, and then she breaks into the fortress and accuses me, me, of hypocrisy. And you know what? The more I think about it, the more the pattern makes sense. Her and Lex are working on something with Leviathan, and it, and it makes me so angry. I, I just, I want to hide. Pain is a necessary part of being human, of, of life, and I was delusional to think that I could save people or fix it. Humanity will always try to protect itself to evolve. You can't stop that. I have made a terrible mistake. I was so hurt, and I thought I could get rid of the hurt. I thought that I knew better, that I could make the world a better place, but I was wrong. I gave you the world! Everything! I supported you! I sabotaged nothing! Touched nothing! I set aside my own goals for you! You were right. This whole time I became a villain, and I'm not looking for forgiveness. I know what I said, and I know what I did, but I am, I am really hoping that you will believe me right now. You're a monster. That doesn't mean I have to be one, too. I didn't know I was helping them, but I did, and now I want to help stop them, so... Talk about history repeating itself. Tracking Lex down through Eve's. It's just like Kaznia. Please, Kara, I'm sorry, okay? I truly believed what I was doing was helping people. I told you, I don't want to talk about the past. Oh, come on, you can scream at me if you like. I know I deserve it. I know now that working with non Cherry was a mistake, that working with Lex is a mistake. This is about Lex! Don't you understand that? No, I do. Of course I do. No, you don't. You have never understood what it means to share a secret identity with someone, how much danger that puts them in. You, you, you never even understood that I kept my identity from you because I wanted to protect you. You didn't want to tell me who you really were because you didn't want me to get hurt. But I did get hurt. And I did what I always do when people hurt me. I built a wall and I suffocated behind it. I know that I hurt you by waiting so long to tell my truth, but what about all the ways you hurt me? You pretended to be my friend for weeks, just so you could manipulate me. You stole from me, you convinced me to steal for you, and then you used kryptonite on me. It makes it very difficult to see things from other people's point of view. But I see yours now, and I am very sorry it took me so long. I made one mistake that was only ever meant to protect you, and in return, all you did was hurt me in every way imaginable. Yeah, when you showed up at my door this morning, I, I didn't want to let you in. I kept waiting for you to let me down. But at every turn, you came through. I'm sorry. I know you are. But if you came to me looking for absolution, I can't give it to you. I wasn't ready to accept your apology. But maybe, maybe I am now. What now? Well, there's still one bad guy left to catch. Let's go take my brother down. You know, it is, <laughs> it is really nice to see you working with Lena again. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a ways to go, but it is nice. Lena. If you had the code Lex used, could you reverse it using Myriad? Myriad, yes, but you trust me even after everything? Whatever else has happened, I know what's in your heart. I know it wasn't easy to trust me again, especially with Myriad, but- You're the only person in the galaxy I know would do right by it. I can buy you guys time by offering myself up. I may be able to reinforce the anti-Luther protocol. It won't kill Lex now that he's immortal, but it might throw him down. Lena, Kara, he's gonna try and kill you. Right? I won't let you turn this into a suicide mission. I can't. If that's what it takes to save half the population and stop Lex, I'm willing to take that risk. You're trying to make humanity bend in ways that it just doesn't want to. Like you tried to bend Lena, bidding her against me. I came to return Myriad for you to safeguard it till Kara gets back. I have to admit, though, I did use it one last time tonight. On Lex and my mother and everyone associated with them, I wiped their minds of Supergirl's identity. I understand now why keeping Kara's secret was meant to keep me safe. I miss her. Me too. Family isn't about blood, 
or last names. It's about people who love you for who you are and stand by you no matter what. So amazing to see and hear, Kara. We may not always agree, and at times that may break us apart. But in the end, we always come back together. Stronger than ever. Feels so real. So, what are you thinking? <sighs> Q-waves. I'm gonna need a piece of Kara's DNA to calibrate the device to the right frequency in order to track her. The core of this crystal contains Kara's digital life force. It took some work, but it's finished. With this, we will be able to find Kara in the phantoms and we'll finally be able to bring her home. Not today. We need to recalibrate it so we can find the crystals instead. But if we recalibrate it, we'll overwrite Kara's DNA. We'll lose our only chance to save her. We'll find another way. We have a way now. I'm not like you. I know how much your sister means to you, Alex, and yet today you made the most painful sacrifice because it was the right thing to do, and I don't think I could do that. How can you choose to save anyone else over your own sister? Because if I don't, countless lives will be lost. Alex, I hear what you're saying, but I have to bring Carl back. That's my family. They're really here. You have a huge heart, and wanting to save Kara, that doesn't make you any less of a hero. It's only because you're on the team that I'm here. Our mothers were friends. They were in a coven. Not like cauldrons and spells. I seen you in the news. Running arm in arm with a bulletproof alien. But you don't believe in magic. I believe what I can see. Do you really not believe in magic? I believe in you. We accidentally broke the courage totem and now there's fifth dimensional energy coming out of it. I couldn't begin to explain it, but it is possible that restoring the totem created a psychic connection between you and Nixley. If a reluctant Earth witch was to accept her gift, her powers could be strong enough. And I think to fight her, I'm going to need every bit of power I can find, and then some. So you mean she could protect herself from the Courage Totem and help defeat the Fifth Dimensional Imp? Depends on how powerful the witch and how far she's willing to go. I may have a way to fight Nixley without you needing to pass the gauntlet. How? That she's a witch, and apparently so am I. Well, I, I will take all of your help, but I want to stay connected to her. It, it could be an asset. If I can sense how Nixley's feeling, maybe I can sense what she's planning. I don't know what that gauntlet was about, because you are the epitome of courageous. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. We have to find her. Well, I might have something that can help. Sheep laurel is a flowering shrub from the limestone barrens of Newfoundland. The affected particles are unstable and diminishing in potency. I need to be on site to make the spell work. My spell backfired, and it drained the humanity from more people in the arena, and now those people are running wild in National City, and it, it's my fault. Maybe, maybe you can undo it. You want me to try more magic? Is our only option. You won't do it. It's wrong. This is for the greater good. For the greater good? Do you hear yourself right now? I can't believe you would not help. Not if it means losing who we are in the process, because then we're no better than she is. I know that you are still processing the fact that you can use magic, and I know that I've been pushing you out of your comfort zone, but that's only because I believe in you. You know, I wanted to thank you for helping me get outside my comfort zone and embrace my magic. She makes me feel powerless. You can do something I can't. I need your help, Nina. And you will beat Nixley too, but not by doing whatever it takes to win. By doing the right thing. And thank you for reminding me that it's important to have clear boundaries with friends. And I don't want to hurt anybody with my magic or deceit. You're right. We, we can't cross lines in darkness, however good the reasons. Pot sticker me. No, take it. I don't want to use my fingers. I'm going to. Oh, that's classy. Mm hmm You know me. <laughs> I, I try to provide people with hope all the time. And what can I do differently now? If I can't help inspire hope in one little girl, how am I supposed to do it for the whole world and pass the hope gauntlet? If it's a race between you and Nixley to provide hope for hope, Totem, I know where my money is going. <clears throat> You're awake. Thank God, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm not the one that just got blasted by her greatest weakness. Lena, we just faced off with Lex. When he turned up yesterday, unexpected and unannounced, all that rage came, came back all over me. 
Just while Lex is in play and getting in my head, I, I think it's safer if I don't do magic. You know, God knows who I could hurt. Yeah, I understand. And, and you bring so much more to the team than magic. I mean, look how you just healed me. Well, that was science. Mm. But if you use the humanity totem, Kari, you could lose your humanity. I think I know of a way I can protect myself. You want me to use my magic with Lex still around? Because if I use it to give Lex and Nixon more humanity, I run the risk of losing some of my own. Unless your magic can protect me. When the dream totem hit me, it sent me into a nightmare. I was becoming a phantom too. This nightmare is showing me what I could become without my humanity. And I thought that nightmare would make me even more afraid to use the totem, but you know what? I'm not afraid to become that phantom. And no matter what happens, I know you all will pull me back from the edge, which is why I need your help now. All right, Nina. It's your turn. You got this. If I use my magic, I could end up hurting you. You've been afraid to become the worst version of yourself because for so long, Lex was the only family you had. He wanted you to be a monster, and there was no one around to pull you back when you went too far. But he's not your family anymore. We are. Focus on the good. On your real family. There you are. You almost missed the party. I just wanted to take a minute to clean up downstairs. Thank you for taking that risk today. You protected me from losing a part of myself. You always do. Besides, it should be me thanking you for pushing me to use my magic. Because I now know for sure. I really am free of Lex. I will drink to that. I, I had to let her go. And once Lex gets the totems and he and Nixley create the Allstone, I won't have the power to stop him. The satellite could filter a portion of the sun's energy directly into Supergirl. Fifth dimensional magic will have no effect on you. You'd be invincible. You can't do this. You'll be playing God. I went down that path with Mona Cherry and you saw what happened. And I saw what will happen if they get the Allstone. It's global destruction, Lena. She's gone. I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be the strongest person on Earth, but I think I'm actually the weakest. What are you talking about? My entire life, I've hid behind these glasses. It's gotten in the way of every job I've ever had, and everything I've ever wanted to do, every relationship, every friendship. Maybe we did have a bit of a bumpy road. You have to do the work every day. We can't let this recent victory go to waste. But if we do keep the fight up, we can accomplish the best in all of us. Look, you've had your entire life people telling you who you're supposed to be and that if you didn't hide your true self, then the people would get hurt. I mean, it's tough to move beyond those type of core wounds. I mean, what if I let myself just be who I am and someone gets hurt? You can't always be our savior, Kara. You shine your light and inspire others to shine theirs. Your words, not mine. If somebody does come, then we will take them on together. Of all the friends I have ever had. You have pushed me the most, challenged me the most. You've made me a better person. Now my arm. <laughs>